everybody, welcome to another edition of Innovative Hobby Supply Time. My name is Mike, I'm your host for today, and I've got another great scale model kit that I know you're going to enjoy. The BK4814 148th scale fire department model kit is the perfect addition to any model diorama, slot car track, or train layout. It comes complete with five sheets for your building and the plethora of accessories and added details, two ultra signposts, one dowel rod, one bag of landscape moss, and three model figures. You can find all of this model kit's dimensions in the comments below or at InnovativeHobbySupply.com. Alrighty, today we are going to be using the standard equipment for this type of model, a glue gun, scotch or invisible tape, a hobby or exacto knife, a metal ruler, a pair of wire cutters, a pair of scissors, washable markers for when you want to touch up all of your pieces, and of course, a cutting mat. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is unpack all of our materials and set aside any of the accessories. There are five sheets to this building, so let's get started by cutting out our materials. All right, so the first thing that we are gonna do is grab our first sheet and our trusty pair of scissors. And you're gonna to wanna to take long, smooth cuts along the edges. Reasons we do that is it gives us a lot better control and a lot less work that we have to do later. What do you say we speed this up a little bit, shall we? Now that's more like it. Okay, now that all of our materials have been cut out, it's time to score what needs to be scored and then touch up all of our materials with our washable markers. Once that's completed, it will be time to assemble our building. Okay, for scoring on this model, you're gonna to wanna to take the roof and score right down the middle on this white line. You're going to wanna to score these four strips right down the middle as those are going to be our corners for our buildings. Uh, for this side, you're going to want to cut all the way through on the top and on the side with the doorknob and then score down the left hand side so it becomes a working door. For the front and the back panel, you're going to want to cut out the garage door completely on on the middle, the middle garage door, and we will be using those uh, later. And then for the garden, you're going to want to score right along the stone walls, and then you're going to want to score the first aid kit uh, right here. So I'm going to do the two doors here on this side just to kind of show you what it's going to look like. And then I will be leaving you to finish it up and then it'll be time to uh, touch up all of our pieces with our markers. Just like that. So finish everything else up and we'll see you on the other side. All right, so now that our scoring has been completed, it's time to touch up our pieces with our washable markers. So what you wanna do is find the corresponding color to whatever piece you are trying to do. In this instance, red. You're gonna to wanna to take the side of your marker and just run it along all of the edges of each piece as well as any of the scoring lines. You're gonna to wanna to do this to get rid of all of that unsightly white. So just go ahead and finish up all of the pieces with its corresponding colors, and then it'll be time to put together our firehouse. Okay, there is a little bit of prep work before we start gluing on our sides. We're gonna to wanna to take these two doors and glue them onto the backs 
of the staff and visitor doors. Just make sure you line up the doorknobs. Then we're going to take this illusion room and we're going to want to put it right here pointing towards the right side of your building which is going to be behind uh, the staff door so that when people walk in it's they see the uh, see the suits. Then it'll be time to take our fire department side which is going to be the front. The doors are going to go to your right left and then obviously this is going to be the back of it. Now once we are now once we have our building finished we're going to take these little corners and they're going to go on all the corners of our building to kind of give it a more authentic and complete look. And there we are. And now it's time to go ahead and throw on our roof. Not to put on our roof, there is no real prep work to be done. You just want to make sure that you have scored down this middle and that it gets centered. And then you can go ahead and glue that down. There we are. One completed fire department building. But now it's time to go ahead and put on all of our details. Now that our fire station has been completed, it's time to put together all of the accessories and details and add it to this extremely detailed and authentic model. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to assemble the rest of the parking lot and yard. So you're just going to want to make sure that these are lined up with the garage doors and you can go ahead and glue that on. You can line that up. With that, make sure that the curbs are aimed towards the building. And then after you glue all of these sides and corners together, you can go ahead and glue the garden right onto that corner.
For our next step, we are gonna want to take this dowel rod and cut off maybe about four inches or so, either using wire cutters or your scissors. And with that, what you're going to want to do is take your flag, glue it back to back, attach it to the top of your pole, and then it goes right here in the center. Next thing we're going to do is put together our first aid kit. So you're gonna take this little box right here, glue the sides together just like we did our garden. And then we glue on the front door so that that opens up. You can take all of these accessories and the people, not to mention some extra landscaping, and you can really just go nuts and make this building your own. Okay, the final step is to put our garage doors back where they belong. Only this time we're gonna want to glue them up like this so that it looks like they're always open. And here we have our completed fire department station. The BK4814 fire department scale model kit is both fun and easy for any hobbyist to put together regardless of their experience level. Its attention to detail and authenticity can't be matched by any other brand of models. You can find this model as well as any of the other amazing photo reel scale model kits at InnovativeHobbySupply.com. And that concludes another edition of Innovative Hobby Supply Time. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I can't wait to see you back here next time.